do we have left once we abandon the lie? Chaos. A gaping pit waiting to swallow us all. Chaos isn't a pit. Chaos is a ladder. No, chat. You're a ladder. Yes! Hi, chat. Happy Wednesday. Yay! Yes, you heard the pop of the Perrier. Like, who's this made by, for real? Like, uh, who do I need to get to call me? Perrier, who are, who owns Perrier? Product of France? Parlez-vous Francais? Mm. Call me, seriously, let's, let's do something. It says product of France. I got, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Like, does the country of France make it? Like, I don't get it. Is there a company name on here or is it just France? Maybe it's the Perrier company. Perrier.com. Seriously. Oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> Amy says, what did you just call me? Double Decker Soul Wrecker in with a Twitch Prime. Five months. Just glad to be hanging out. Then a little earlier, we had Ed. Hey, Ernie. Eight months, says Bazinga. Oh, my goodness. That just brought back so much stuff in my head. You can't say Bazinga. Oh, I was thinking of something else. You were, I was thinking for a second of an old cartoon, but Bazinga, that's uh, uh, the world blowing. Big Bang, there it is. Yes, the Sheldon effect. It was definitely Sheldon. There was an old cartoon that I used to watch with, uh, with Sassy Chick called, man, I'm just knocking out of the park already. Let's play the game where we watch the streamer try to think of the things. Backyardigans. Yeah, chat, that's where we're going right now. Um, I watched the Backyardigans. And during the Backyardigans, they have little, little videos every once in a while. And one of them was a song called Boinga, where everything is Boinga and they're like, look, if you're bored, which I hope you're not, you just started watching my stream. Um, just Google Backyardigans Boinga. That's B-O-I-N-G-A, Boing, B-O-I-N-G, yeah, Boinga. Everything's Boinga. If you need a small smile or a chuckle, and I'm not doing it for you today, that's what you do. Just not overthink. First time chatter, welcome. We also have Egyptian coffee back in the house. What's good, Mr. Streamer? I tell you what was not good, my foot. You ready for this? I was locking up the house yesterday and you know, apparently little tiny shards of glass that are unsweepable because they're so small, just go right through the little, the little, the whiskers of the broom. What are those called? What are the broom whiskers called? There's a word for that, I know. We're just gonna go with broom whiskers. And um, yeah, I stepped on this piece of glass. So I look at my foot, it of course is bleeding. But I'm like, okay, but the more important thing is that I get the glass up so I don't come back here and step on it again in the future. So I did that whole thing where you look down and you can't see it that way because it's so small. So then I get crawling on the floor. I feel like this music might be too loud for me. Okay, that feels better. Um, so then I crawl on the floor and look across it. You know what I mean? Like you're looking across the floor like this so you can see anything poking up. Still didn't find it. So that's when the fear hits you, right? The glass is still in my foot. Ah? Uh? And we're talking about probably a half of a half of a piece of rice. There's also another word there for a piece of a grain of rice. 
Yes, half of a grain of ice, rice, not ice, is what it felt like. And at least that's the hole it made in my foot. So I'm like, okay, not a big deal. But I, I stopped the bleeding. Oh. And uh, then I, I go to bed. The next morning, I go back and I do the, the look for the ice thing on the ground. Using extra light, still can't find it. So I'm like, okay, it's definitely in the foot. Out come the tweezers. Chad, it's not in my foot. I looked, okay? I looked, I looked everywhere. It's not in my foot. So I don't know where that little piece of glass is. Uh, but we're going to call it Zolden or Lamu. Okay, Zolden or Lamu is still... It's actually a piece of Zolden. That sounds so much better. Uh, there's a piece of Zolden still sitting somewhere on the floor that we have to find. <gasps> Ellie on Ellie says, a lint roller for microscopic glass shards. Oh, that's a pretty good idea. That's a pretty good idea. I'm going to have to break that out. But I'd still be able to see it when you did this thing, though, right? Yeah, I don't know. Chat, we got to talk about something. Okay. Tactical glass shard. <laughs> oh, we got to talk about something. When I put the P.O. box available for people to send me things, there was a certain trusting relationship between sender and receiver. Okay. There's a list of things that you should not send. Like there's a social contract of things that you cannot send. What has it been up for? Like three weeks? Three weeks, chat. Smog, first time chatter. Welcome. Yeah. Somebody actually sent me a stripper pole. Okay. And it's big enough. And the box is large enough to where I can't get it on the stream. All right. It's like a real stripper pole that people would put in their house to practice their exotic dancing before they went to work. It's heavy. Okay. I think we have Angry Forest to blame. I have shot them a message because they tried canceling it after I brought out my own special Vera pole. By the way, the Vera pole is used to hang audio video equipment, not for exotic dancing on it. All right. So I, I sent them a message on Discord saying, hey, send me the UPS slip so I can return it for you. I'm not putting a real stripper pole up in the stream, okay? Right now, there's some parents in the stream trying to explain to their, their cute little dupes what an exotic dancing pole is, okay? No, B-dubs, it is not brilliant. This is not a brilliant moment. What... You, could you imagine me walking out of the UPS store with the giant stripper pole? Like there's a giant picture of said stripper pole on the box. Are you not entertained? Call it a fire pole instead. Oh, Sean Corey, you're a genius. Unfortunately, the joke didn't end there because they also... They also um, sent accessories for said fire pole. Dravy81 with the four months. Do you want to see the accessories, chat? Now, even for the young dupes in the crowd, it's just going to look like random accessories. But some of you are going to get it. Some of you are going to get it. Okay. We have a we have an Amazon package here. Let me try to get it away from the microphone so you don't have to hear all that. First, they sent this kind of Oh, it's been a flute. It's already been a flute. Mr. Rusty was feeling a little bit uncomfortable and was like, okay, we need a flute right now. We need a flute. So the first innocent thing they sent was this like um this kind of cool, I think it's ceramic. I don't, I don't know what it's made out of. We're going to have to ask whoever sent this because, again, there's no note. All right. It's got the eyes, right? I guess you put this up on a wall. 
It's got the eyes. And it's got the beard thing. Like the beard thing right here. Right? Yeah. It's kind of cool. And it's also got a nose. So I thought that was kind of cool. I was like, all right. It's for a tree? Uh, what? So what am, what am I supposed to do without a... Do I got... Why does everybody know... Oh, that looks like a tree face. How does everybody know this but me? Oh, old man tree hugger. I can see it. I, I see it now. Okay, if I would have read the box, that would have helped. Dreaming Kid soon says, I saw the color and assumed. What do you think it was? Well, I knew it was a face. I just figured they'd want to put it on the wall. I might put it on the wall. Like, you're not the boss of me. You're not my real dad. Okay. But that's where the, the good naturedness ends. Okay. That's where the good nature ends. All right. Chat, this is a bow tie. And you might think that's an innocent sort of thing, except the bow tie also has cuffs. Okay? Bow tie and just cuffs. It's for the fireman outfit. That's right, Rob Roy. And that's, the, it, you'd figure that'd be all, right? You'd figure that'd be all. I'm gonna see if I can open this for the comedic effect without da Oh yes, of course I can. All right. Somehow they assumed I was a large. I mean, I'm sure they'd fit. Um, it's leopard print and it's a pair of drawers. Okay. And yes, it's a thong. Now, I didn't, I'm not even sure because like, I guess these are men's underwear. I get like, I don't even know where you go to, I guess Amazon has everything. Ugh. Amy says, are you and Channing Tatum going for a duo show for us? No, Channing Tatum is on the list of guys that you never stand next to. Actually, I could stand next to Channing Tatum. I would, I would have no problem standing next to Channing Tatum. Uh, but cause I've heard he's a really good guy and funny. But you know. <laughs> what I don't like is the obsession over Channing Tatum. Like somehow some, I guess, I mean, a decent looking guy that has a decent body, all of a sudden made all of American women just swoon. It's like, okay, I get it. But really? Now I got to do the annoying plasticky thing. So if you sent this, I, I don't even know if you're getting a thank you. Is it because they made the dance movie? Yeah. <laughs> Pumpkin says it looks like he can't read books. Now, Pumpkin, you were judging a book by its cover. <laughs> oh, oh, that's funny. That's funny. So yeah, what am I supposed to do with that? Like, I'm not putting a stripper, a fireman pole up. I'm not wearing that stuff ever. Like, uh... Fabian says, you got pancakes? I hope you have enough for chat. Yes. Of course, I got my, uh, I got my math wrong in the last stream. And we're going to go back through the math because I'm not sure where I messed it up. Dave Hammer said, so how is um, Baldur's Gate 3? It is good. I'm not willing to give it a great yet. And there's a certain reason why. The early game so far is a bit sluggish, right? It's a bit sluggish. Like I keep, pick I want more loot. Loot, I, I can't find any loot, which I guess magic items don't exist everywhere. But it's just like you walk up, you hit the guy, you roll your, your for damage, and then he hits, it's just very repetitive. Like, and then I loot and I get yet another short sword. So now I've got 45 short swords, 13 cups, eight bottles. Yeah. Dreaming Kid soon says, aren't all Baldur's Gate sluggish in the beginning? Yes. 
I suppose. But I, first of all, I don't want to just poo-poo. Okay, I'm not just poo-pooing. The game is gorgeous. Um, the mechanics are 100% sound. They even make the D20 dice roll amazing. Amazing. Like, you could run, you could roll D20s all day. Beat up says combat opens up at level five. I've read that. I read that too. Uh, and I, I don't know. Like I'm trying to, I'm still going to keep playing. I'm going to still play it for hours and hours, but I'm also an altar. And I don't mean like the, you know, the place where people go to pray. I am. A, I have alt disease. Okay. I played, I played World of Warcraft for probably 10 years before I had a max level character. Okay. Uh, because I'd get so far and then just, you know, click the buttons to go make a new character. All right. Hi, my name's Echo and I'm an altholic. Yeah. Otaku gets it. They're an altholic too. But are the panties soft? Hi, Taco. Hi, Taco. Of course they are. Um, and I did get, I did, there's a, there's an NPC that you can get to where you can respec. And I did get said NPC. And not only did I respec, I didn't even respect the entire class. I just respect the subclass. I think maybe I'm just bored of the fighter because it's very much swing, hit. Stand there, wait for my turn. Swing, hit. It, you know. Burgetta says, hi, Echo. Welcome to Altaholics Anonymous. Ah. Oh. Yeah, and so I was also, and they did a pretty good job with um, fifth edition rule set, right? Um, so, and this is not a complaint. This is just a limitation of what it is, right? It's a video game. They can only code so much, and I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of DLCs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But when I was deciding, I, I, I rolled a fighter, and when I was deciding on being a fighter, I just cracked open a fifth edition rule book and said, okay, these are the archetypes I'm going to be able to go with. Except when I leveled to level three, um, it didn't happen. The camera's having a busy day. Come on, camera. You can do it. You can do it, camera. I got to check it again to make sure it's not defaulting back to that center mode. Fighters become a little bit more engaging. See, I don't want... I was picturing like a, like a knight, but not like a paladin-y knight. I, I don't know. It's, it's a problem with me. It's not a problem with the game. It's just a problem with me. And first of all, I also still have Dave on my mind. Okay. Dave holds a special, not Dave Hammer. Of course, Dave Hammer holds a special place in my heart too, but Dave the Diver. All right. Dave the Diver. Visio Gamer, first time chatter, welcome. Did I see the Twitch announcement? Uh oh, what did I miss? What did I miss? Boop. I see no new. Uh, I see no new announcement. Tell guys, says Dave the Diver was a really fun game. It is. I, I'm, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to finish Dave because every once in a while I'll see like a, a tip and it says you can find this fish at 5,000 meters. And I'm like, what? Like I'm at 250, like 5,000? Really? Awesome? 5,000? <laughs> oh, a stretch. Oh. Oh, that's a good one. Except for that left shoulder. That left shoulder has been giving me more and more problems lately. BLS Envoy. I just joined. We get pancakes. Yes, pancakes. What else? What else is everybody up to? Happy hump day, by the way. 
Kansas City Shuffle says, just got done watching the last VOD, so the new Chaos Crew is live and on base game, not DLC, huh? Yeah. Um, it'll probably be the only non-Chaos uh, Crew, non-DLC Chaos Crew seed for the rest of the year. Or at least several, several more times. But we wanted the people who do not have the DLC to have an opportunity as well. No, that one's pretty old, Dave. That's an old blog, blog post. I'm not entirely sure that that person wasn't a, um, like, hacked or something. The one who was asking about the announcement thing. I think it was a troll sort of thing. I am not sure. Space is so much better with the DLC, says Candy City Shovel. Yes, I think so too. I think the game is more flushed out. <laughs> so Licky says, it's midnight. Can I save my pancakes for the morning? Of course. Of course you can. It's midnight for you? So that means you're in Europe somewhere. So that means you may not know what a McGriddle is. Now, I am not partial to the McGriddles because um, they're too sweet for me, but you could actually take two pieces of pancakes, smaller pieces of pancakes, and put them over, put them over sausage, like a sausage patty. Burger, I appreciate the lurk. What's up, whiskey? Critus can't stay just coming in to say hi. Well, thank you, Critus. I appreciate you stopping by. <laughs> Beat up says I did not exercise today. Shame. Shame. We have a shame bell. <gasps> shame. Shame. <laughs> The tea bell's good for shaming as well. I'm partial to the shame box, um, the the box of shame meme over, over the the Game of Thrones shame. The box of shame is it's it's got the cuter feel, and that's from uh, Despicable Me when they when he puts one of the little girls in the box of shame. It's so good. Or no, it's at the orphanage. It's not the Despicable Me, Despicable Me one. Was it? Gru, Gru didn't do it. It was at the orphanage. The Cone of Shame. I know the Cone of Shame too. The Box of Shame is good. <laughs> Look, he says it's so fluffy. <laughs> No, it is Despicable Me. All right, we ready to do the roll call and get into it? Squirrel! Whiskey says, poor Doug. Yeah, I can't watch the movie up. I'll never watch it. I saw that, pr I saw that trailer and said, nope. That one's not for me. Not gonna do that one. Little too sad. You know how that one's gonna end. Not gonna do it, okay? It's like any any movie with a picture of a dog on the front? Nope, not watching that one either. <laughs> oh. Everybody's telling me Up is a good movie. It's the first five minutes that wrenches your heart out, says Whiskey. Yeah, like, no, no. Like, I try to watch things that make me happy, right? That's the reason why I don't watch, like, horror films. Like, I get it. There's an appeal for being scared, and, like, people love that feeling. Look, 
I've had plenty of moments where my life has been a horror film. I don't want to repeat it. I want happy. Okay. I want, I don't know. Give me, give me a Marvel movie. Oh, chat. I finally watched, um, the new spider not new, the older one came out like three years ago. The, the Miles Morales Spider-Man one, the animated. I can't remember. It's Spider-Man into the multiverse, into the Spider-Verse. It's into, no, it's beginning into, and I don't know. You know what I mean? Marcus, um, Marcus, we're just going to go with Marcus with the Twitch Prime four months into the Spider-Verse. Yeah, fantastic movie. Fantastic. Fantastic. Absolutely. <laughs> whiskey. That's ridiculous. I'm not reading that whiskey. It's been so long since I've watched a horror movie too. Maybe I need to try it. Maybe, maybe it's got the, I, it's literally been probably, I don't know. It's been a long, long time since I was small, since I was small. I am not shaming you, whiskey. Look, I, whatever floats your boat, I'm the wave. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I love zombie movies. But zombie movies aren't really horror films, right? Neither are vampires. Horror movies for me are like The Ring, right? To me, there's no... There's... Ugh, the Blair Witch Project. Like, that was so bad. It was just a bad movie. That was just recorded. Like, the... No. Just no. To try Starship Troopers 2. <laughs> I'll bet. I'll bet. Yeah, I like the real, the, the sort of gritty post-apocalyptic zombie movies. I'm big on those. Okay, we got to do the roll call. We're just going to sit here all day. Where are we going to start today? Where are we going to start? Let's start with Kansas City Shuffle. Happy Wednesday and a happy hump day to you and Katai. Mr. Taco is here. Looking good too, Mr. Taco. Malaki is here. Max. Mocha Frappuccino. Mr. Rusty8684. Necro McClellan is here. NVC. Cycle? Uh oh, I'm supposed to know this person's name. NVXZU. Navixu? Nope, we're just going to go with NVXZU. Nim. Nim is also here. Happy Wednesday to everybody. Otaku. Pothold Saturn. Pumpkin Pie. Queen Kulero Raptor. Raven Stormfrost. Level 6 now. Rosen 99. Rob Roy 865. Rockos. Sean Corey, Saliki Jab, Stream Elements Talc Guy, Vicio Gamer, still here. Oh no, they just talked the 15 minutes ago. I'm guessing it was a spam link. Whiskey's here, We Azar, Fabian, Zimmy 99, back up to the K's. Kazarak, Colonel Sanders, Kenny Dave, Just Not Overthink, welcome again. Harvester of Soy. Ellie O'Nelly is here. El Turtle Hermit. Egyptian Coffee. Mm. Dreaming Kitsune. Double Dork 596. Dave Hammer 2003 A Space Odyssey. Dex 3D, leader of the Council of Meeps, is also here. Dark Majora. Dark Heart. That's also a very DD esque name. Kratos Payne. Thank you for the lurk, Kratos. 
code man 9000 Clemson Orange. That jacket's horrible. Burger is here. Bunder Pressure. Bricked Ed. Brian Matt 42. BLS Envoy. Bergetta. B Dubs 79 79. And Amy from Jupiter is also here. Halecki is here. Lady Fairy. Raven God. Nim says, leaving the office. See y'all in a bit. Be safe. Faye is here. Hello, Faye. Yeah, I remember the scariest movie I've seen. And it's probably the reason why I stopped watching them. It was when I was younger. I was young, young. And I saw a movie called Fire in the Sky. And I think it just broke me, right? I think it just broke me. Vitor Summer is also here. Welcome. Axel! How are you doing today? Yeah, Fire in the Sky was ridiculously scary because it was believable, right? To me, it was believable. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's, let's play some video games. <laughs> oh. Or as another streamer we know says, is everybody ready to play some video games? Some video? Uh, where are you, little oxygen not included, Link? I found you. Yes. Raven God says, my daughter had a pretty solid joke the other day. She said the scariest movie she ever saw was Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. I asked why. She said it's because it's raining carbs and she's a diabetic. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. I like it. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> it's raining carbs. Oh, all right. I don't feel like I'm centered again. I got a scoosh. Here we go. Hello, Ani. Uh, let's go with the, the first, the music. We got to get it pumping. There we go. Now, everybody in the club getting and load game. Relaxed. We just made some pancakes. Very excited about the pancakes. Raining carbs sounds like my dream. <laughs> Beat ups, I appreciate the lurk. Yeah, Chaos with a Chance of Meatballs was a pretty good movie. I thought so. All right, here we are. So just to check. Where are we? Yeah, we have 10,000 calories worth of, worth of souffle pancakes. What is a souffle pancake? Is that a is that a pancake that you grill? What is the art of souffle? I feel like I am I do not know it the correct the correct way. I was looking at this digger for a second, but they're building impaired. Endgame said it's a very eggy pancake. Angry Forest says, did the stream see? Okay, Angry, we gotta talk. I sent you a message on Discord. You gotta send me the UPS thing so I can send it back. All right, it's too big to show. It's heavy. Like it's a real, real, we're calling it a fireman pole. How you doing, Angry? Did you also send the other package? The smaller one with the, the accessories, Angry? <laughs> I highlighted the accessories on stream. Angry says, of course, send me the UPS slip. All right. Uh, what, why did I do this? Why did I do this here? This is going to make this thing too small. 93. Was I doing this? Is that why? Why would I need to do that, though? 
Oh, because we're going to put suits here. We're going to put... No, but then we realize we're not putting suits here. Suits got to go over here. Now I'm picking it up. Okay, I'm picking it up now. Uh... A souffle pancake is a souffle that fell. So a souffle rises? Is that a thing? El Turtle Hermit says big and jiggly pancakes. Hey now. Oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. How many gift subs for a poll demonstration? There's not a number. That's never going to happen. Okay? It is never going to happen. Um, so don't, don't count your chickens. It's not going to happen. I'm sending it back. I, we, we, uh, Angry and I are figuring it out and we're going to send it back. That's just how that rolls. I'm going to put at least one side with the airflow tiles. I don't like how the polluted water, the polluted oxygen is sitting there. Aspect Tiamat. Two months for Aspect Tiamat. Look at all them chickens. Mm. JB Rams says, I recommend putting in a bunch and seeing. I know there's plenty of room, but we're not putting it up. Okay. For the funsies, Echo After Dark features a Veripole that I already have that makes fun of it, right? It's for fun just once no because then i'd have to open it and then we can't get oh wow look at this and then we can't get angry their money back karen sanders says we got halfway to the demonstration you set up on camera that poll that i set up is called a vera poll if you want to google it it's v-a-r-i poll it's not for humans to write on it is for audio and uh audio and video equipment <laughs> all right we need First, I need to do the math. We're gonna do the math again because I need to show everybody where I messed up. Well, I don't even know where I messed up. And I need to get chat off the, the poll conversation. <laughs> it is now time for stream math. There we go. Now we got some stream math. Nothing will uh, calm down everybody like a hot shower and some stream math, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh man alright so here's the deal every pip lays an egg every 5.88 cycles they do that for 95 cycles they don't do it in the first 5 cycles of their life because um, they're babies and babies don't lay eggs what are we calculating? we're calculating how many calories worth of souffle pancakes we're going to be creating? Oh, I also have a good introspective. Making souffle pancakes is actually better than making barbecue when you're running pips. Um, so here's our wonderful pips. 95 cycles, and every 5.88 cycles, they're going to lay an egg. Right? 95 divided by 5.88. That means they're gonna lay 16.15 eggs in their lifetime. We subtract one because one of those eggs that they lay is gonna be an egg that replaces them when they die. Okay. Now, well, we were left with 15.15 eggs. You can't have a 0.15 of an egg and they can't lay 0.15 of an egg. So we have 15 eggs per pip times eight pips in a ranch is 120 eggs in the course of 100 cycles. There we go. 100 cycles, which means we divide that by 100. That means each ranch is giving us 1.2 eggs per cycle. We have one, two, three, four, five, six ranches. Six ranch times six ranches means we're getting 7.2 eggs per cycle. Well, when we take an egg, we put it into the egg cracker, it turns into a raw egg, and then we use it combined with our 
sweet wheat, sleet wheat grain, we're given 3,600 calories worth of souffle pancakes. So we multiply that times 3,600, and we get 25,920. I have no idea. That math is very easy for me, and I've done it a thousand times. So I have no idea how I ended up with double that, literally double that. I don't know if I multiplied something twice or something. I don't know, but it's 25,920, which means we can support up to 25 duplicates just on souffle pancakes. I mean, it's not bad. Amy from Earth says, a hot shower, you say? Nay. Nay. Plus, we also have some barbecue coming in here. Uh, plus, we have Dreco barbecue. So we could easily... I'm thinking we could easily go... We could easily go to 30 dupes. Well, this is going to have... This is going to have, what, six critters in it? And... Hold on, let me do this. And so eight critters is five dupes. It's a little over five dupes. Well, let's do the same math then. Ready? Ready for this? I'm going to do it quicker. We have five... Ha oh, is it six? It's six hatches. Six hatches that are laying eggs. It's the same sort of math. Um, so 5.88 every 5.88 cycles times 95 cycles that they're an adult. Oops, that's not the right math. Oops. 95 divided by 5.88. Oh, come on, calculator. 95 divided by 5.88 equals 16.15. We need one egg to replace, which means we're left with 15 eggs. We times that by 6, which means the ranch is going to give us 90 eggs in 100 cycles. We divide this by 100 which means we get 0.9 eggs, 0.9 hatches per cycle. We take that and we turn it into a barbecue. So that's times 4,000. Boop. Which is 3,600. So six duplicates will give us another 30, or six hatches will give us another 3,600 calories. So that gives us all the way up from 25, uh, where was it? Come on, it was 25 point something plus 3,600. So we're at 28, almost 29 duplicates just on hatches and pips. Just on hatches and pips. So, yeah, I think we're good on, like, we're good on food. We're obviously great on oxygen, too. Look at this money. So money. Apparently, I've not reclaimed all of this yet. Johnny Wrench with the follow. I appreciate you. Who knows, yo? Why is who knows, yo, giving me a random shout out? Are they streaming right now? Is that what's going on? Who knows, yo, is streaming right now. All right, boom. Um, we're replacing this up here. I don't know why we decided to replace all this. In fact, let's just replace that because I want to leave the abyssalite because it's pretty. So now we just, I can get rid of all the pickled meal. We don't have any more pickled meal, right? And get rid of those. Yeah, because all this pickled meal is going to go bad. Oh, look at you. Hello, little friend. How did you get out? Die. Oh, we're always going to have pickled meal because of the Drekos. <gasps> Why is there only one in here? Uh, one out of four, Drekos and Drecklets. Let's wrangle some of the... Nope, that's a glossy. Valkyrie, welcome back. Wrangle this one. Wrangle this one. Wrangle this one. That's odd. And for some reason, they're not loading up this incubator either. 
Well, it's because they don't have any eggs. Something happened here. And I'm not entirely sure what, but we're going to put a uh, auto super here. So the auto super will automatically load up the incubator. Easy peasies. Okay, let's go with the fast 40. Something's weird about this. Is the priority right with the egg cracker? We're not, we shouldn't be cracking Draco eggs. Yeah, we're not cracking Draco eggs. We let them in, stay in here and then turn into barbecue. 270 watts, chat. 270 watts. Probably about 150 shine bugs in there. So great. This system is working out great too. Four critters plus an egg. So now duplicates have no reason to come in here. No new regular Draco's egg being in there. Yeah, maybe. But we, we've you filled it. So now, because we only need... They will still lay, like this little Draco right here. It still has an 8% chance of laying a Draco egg. Like they'll still, we'll still get enough Drecklet eggs to repopulate. It's barely, but it works. All right, what else? We, I know we want to redo the kitchen today. I know we're going to redo the kitchen. Check on the sleep weeds. Body temperature. You're, oh, this tile here is seven degrees because it's not sitting. I need to insulate this. I actually thought about doing another one. In fact, we're going to do that. We're going to get another row of sleet wheat. That way we can make plant milk. Let's be here for the plant milk, chat. In fact, we're going to do it like this. And then like this. Yes. Like that. And this will be off. Somebody make sure I do not forget that this is the lo the row. Do you have that update installed then? Yes. I have my stuff on auto update. We will get another one going like this. We'll get another one of these like here. Yes. Now the point, the problem though is going to be, we're going to have to add more of this. Which is okay. We can make this happen. Radiant liquid pipes. We have enough aluminum. Something like... This. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. It's gonna have to snake. Hold! There we go. We're going to have to snake it back. Like this. That way it's serpentining. Is that a word? Serpentining? Around the place? And then we can go like that and then come back through the insulated tiles. No worries. I guess I didn't have to do insulated pipes in there, but... It's not a big deal either way, right? Club step 2000K with the follow. Just not overthink with the follow as well. I appreciate you both. And then we can go up through here like this. We'll see how much more coolant we're going to need to add. That's going to be a small pain in the tuchus. Unless I can find some polluted water just chilling, which I don't think we can. So we're probably going to have to do something like this. Yeah. All this because we want to play with some plant milk. Apparently, one of the effects of the critter... Critter drinker? What's this called? By the way, has everybody seen the new fish trap, critter trap, and airborne critter trap? They're reusable. Huh? Huh? Let's go check uh, the research. Because I thought... Here it is. Plant pulverizer. There's a critter drinky thing. Critter drinky thing. Where are you? Let me guess. It's by the water fountain.
Uh, here it is. The Critter Fountain. The Brax Wax Cleaner and the Milking Station. Okay. It takes data analysis research. Really? Really? Re mm -hmm. I... Oh, come on. I think we have the data banks, but still. Oh, that's... Okay. Yeah, plastium is like plastic thermium. So it'll be good in places that are too hot to use plastic. But you still want the benefits of plastic. Yes, Haunted. Eat the pancakes with your powdered sugar. All right. Uh, dirt is coming down still. I am gonna have to mark these as sleet wheat, or and go fi or go find some sleet wheat because. Uh oh, what do we do? It's stuck. There we go. Ring around the rosy. Yeah, we're still behind quite a bit. This could probably still work, but it wouldn't nearly be efficient enough. We're also going to need to split this water off. Uh, we said the maximum number was 20, didn't we? As far as water goes. We'll, we'll troubleshoot that when it bites us in the butt, but for now, this will work just fine. Let's plumb that out. Got to go to space to learn about green milk from a space hermit. <laughs> Darkheart says it's that's rough. It's much easier to get in the base game. Yeah. The haunted tier says I get pancakes with sugar. Yay! Boom. Travis fifteen fifty four with the follow as well. I appreciate you. We will just join it on like this. Uh, ooh, why is that a radiant liquid pipe? That's not supposed to be there. Okay, now all that sleep weed is fixed. Because we add... Uh, the reason why is because this, these tiles were actually touching this solid tiles here. So it was injecting too much heat at a time. And now we will just uh, polluted water, enable auto bottle, fill that sucker up. That's right. Yes. Uh, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking we do some of the stuff with the plant milk. I don't know if we want to actually double up the critters in our ranch, which is what the, what I've been told is the effect of the critter fountain. Like, there's no need for me to have 16 pips in here. Not to mention, you also have still have to provide all 16 of them with, um, you know, the things. Food. Now, we could do it here. That might be the good experience to get even more coal. We could pack 12 in here. Alrighty here. Scoop that up. Let me get some... So next time a sleep week comes up, they'll be able to grab it. Or I can go find some in here. No sleep week there. None. None, none, none. Yeah, it looks like we're waiting. Looks like... And it looks like the steam vent is slowly overriding this biome. It's fine. It's fine. I'm okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This needs to be off, or it's going to overflow. Oh, no. Below 500. Above 500. Turn off. Oh, you need power, is what you're waiting on. Whoop, whoop. And we can also turn that off. Brilliant. Missing research station. Oh, virtual planetarium. Yes, yes. I still have, I don't even have the virtual planetarium. 
Where are you? Right there. Auto super needs power as well. I mean, you're right. You are absolutely right. Boop. Lay some good eggs, Dracos. And oh, I guess this one needs. Apparently, we gotta power everything. It's this weird thing with the game. You actually gotta provide power. <laughs> I melted a thousand data banks in my industrial brick. Ouch. That hurts. What's the melting point for a data bank? It may not even show in here. Let's go find a data bank. Uh, have I inspected this? Apparently. Have I inspected this? Inspect it. Yes. Data bank. There's no way you melted a 9,000... It's... It's made out of genetic ooze. They're made of plastic now. This one's not made of plastic. Maybe it's a new colonies? Is that another update that was not in the patch notes? Or did I just miss it? Miss it? Manufactured databanks are the same as plastic. Databanks generated from POIs are genetic ooze. Oh, Colonel Sanders. That makes sense because you use plastic to create them. Wow, that's kind of cool. Learning new things. Look at that. Research complete. On the virtual thing. Okay, that's the first one. All right. Kenny Dave says, I think you should put a thousand databanks in your brick as a test. No? Nope. I will... Um... I will take Kenny Dave and Kansas City Shuffle's word for it. Curative tablets, I suppose. Um, or we take a Steve. You know I like Steve's. And this is a building and tidying expert. What do we need? We have enough mechatronics engineers. I always get too many mechatronics engineers. Maybe another digger and builder. Hmm. I'm thinking a digger and a builder would be good. Uh, let's go in here. Yeah, none of these. We'll take the curative tablets. And I also got to provide some water here. This water is two degrees, which is cold, but won't be too shabby when it mixes with the warm and our environment. I suppose we don't need that much either. Maybe we, maybe we squish this now. Maybe it's time to squish it. We'll squish it all up to like this point right here. My little dupe's favorite stuffy slash lovey named Pippo says hi. Hi, Pippo. Hello, little dupe and their friend Pippo. My little chick's stuffy is called Mr. Bear. I know. Mr. Bear. Anybody want to take a guess on what animal it is? <laughs> oh. Are we going to move this over so I can get the virtual planetarium in? <laughs> Somebody said, who is that? Weazor says, is it a coca? No, it's not a coca. Boop. They're actually getting to the age. Little chick is getting to the age where they no longer sleep with their, their little lovies. I know, it's such a sad sort of transition. Virtual planetarium. Not in an industrial sauna, by the way. Everybody's wondering, a panda, a raccoon? No, it's a bear. Like, its name was Mr. Bear. Don't know what to tell you. <laughs> oh... Where it, there it is. We're going for the milk. How many data banks do we have right now? We have 21 units. We need to find more data banks. 
Okay, there's eight. Uh, give me more things to analyze. When uh, we've already done this one, is there data banks in there? <gasps> They're unreachable data banks too. We're getting in there whether they like it or not. Yeah, you are dupes. I don't, yeah, this is fine. It's only a little warm up there, but they're, oh, they're in suits too. Nobody cares. Ellie O'Nelly says, my little brother is 27, still takes his teddy from when he was 10 around the world with him on business trips. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I hope, I hope they take pictures with it everywhere. Hippo is a purple hippo. <gasps> tell me it is from, tell me it is from, what's the show? Doc McStuffins. Is that hippo? Is that hippo purple? I could even show you Mr. Bear. Mr. His, their name is actually Peanut and they are a, um, a bunny by the bay is the company. Bunny by the bay, Mr. Peanut. And you'd think, Mr. Peanut... No, this one's an elephant. Mine's not an elephant. It's a... It's a bear. I thought its name was Peanut. But now I feel like I'm mistaken. Somebody tell me what the name of the little bear by Bunnies by the Bay is. Just here to lurk says, yes, she said, yes, she is. Her name is Hallie. Hallie is the purple hippo in, um, in Doc McStuffins, apparently. It is not the, it's not an elephant. We all, I always thought its name was Peanut, but now it makes sense that Peanut would be the, um, oh no, it was. Yo-Yo? Oh, I gotta find this chat. I know this is a, a sidetrack. Is it Yo-Yo the bear? Yo-Yo the bear. No, it's not Yo-Yo. Coco the bear. Bunnies by the bear. It's something like that. Bye. Bunnies by the bay. I feel like you're not even looking, chat. I feel like you're not even trying to find the real name. That company is actually amazing, though. So when Little Chick was younger, um, the, the, the stuffy got like a ripped arm and all that sort of stuff and was getting on in years. You could send it to Bunnies by the Bay all the way across the country. Not only do they email you saying, hey, uh, Mr. Bear just arrived and is currently going into surgery. And then they send you another update saying, yep, Mr. Bear just got out, doing great. We're now sending sending Mr. Bear to the spa. And then they ship it back for you, free of charge. I mean, that's incredible service. Yeah. Bunnies, by the way. So if you're looking for a good baby shower gift or something, that's the way to go. Kaluna Bites is Vermont. Teddy Bear Company does that as well. So bunnies by the bay, um, these teddies have little um, little blankets connected to their head. <laughs> it's kind of messed up when you think about it, but. Oh, we've already got that research. How much is each data bank worth? Um, I feel like each data bank was worth more than one. But it's not. We just must have found more. Amy says, I want to say I appreciate you giving me a new way to refer to the doctor I see every week. Instead of saying I have a doctor appointment, I can now say I'm off to see the wizard. Exactly. In a sing-song voice and skip like I'm following the yellow brick road. Oh, it's... It's Bobo. It is Bobo. It's Bobo the bear. And but it's not it's B A O B A O. 
bear bunnies by the bay. Yes. Here you are, you slick little thing. Found you. This is a random, like, shoppy shoppy link, but... Do, do, do. Oh, that's a long link. Oh, I'm sorry for the long link. But that's, that's Bobo, but we didn't name it Bobo. We named it Mr. Bear. Peanut was the elephant. Look, I know we took a sidetrack, okay? But if you're not here about, here for Mr. Bear stories, I mean, what are you here really for? Chaos? Psst. There's no chaos here. I'm a professional gamer. Like, obviously. Um, so that can go all the way to there. This can go here. That took up the entire chat window. I know, I'm sorry. Just... Yeah. You know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it's because Amy from Earth says Yogi and Boo Boo and it just triggered my head. Nim says, apparently, Mr. Bear Stories. What a place to make it back to the stream. Uh, is Mercari, like, a bad site? Is I, I was skeptical. Is this the first link where I found it? I don't know what it means or anything. Here, we're just collapsing this water tank so it's smaller. In fact, it can get even smaller than that, too. Uh, we'll move this here. Yeah, this will be fine. It'll be fine. And then we'll uncheck this and put bleachstone in here. Yes. Laszlo with a drink. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Boop. There we go. The queen says, Maru, uh, the queen forwarded a message from Maru. Hi, Echo. I'm playing with geothermal power for the first time today and building a steam room. Ended up with over 300 kilos of steam per tile. Is that okay? No. It is not. Um, if you plan, it, well, is there a volcano or anything in there? Is there any vents or geysers? Because vents or geysers will not off gas after 150 kilos worth of steam pressure also there's gonna be a point where um vents and everything will just stop working as well you don't need any more than say 20 20 ish depending on what's in there if you have a bunch of volcanoes in there then you want more steam pressure to absorb more heat it all depends on what else you have in that sauna a good job getting 300, 300 key. Oh, milking station. I've got nipples, Greg. Can you milk me? Oh, that's great. What else did we get? Brack wax gleaner. Refines brack wax into brine and brack wax and emits carbon dioxide. 75 degrees overheat. So now we need to find brack wax, which we, I think we can get. Crushes sleet wheat grain or pinch of into brackeen. Okay, this takes brackeen. Refines brackeen into brine. So this is not a way. Somebody said this is a way to get bleach stone. And it's been another flute. Let's go check that. Flute! Flute! Bleach... Stowed. I don't think it's updated in here yet. The Bleach Stone Hopper. Which takes salt, which I guess you can get from the... You can get from the brine and gold, and then get bleachstone from the bleachstone hopper. 
So that's what we're looking for to get more Bleachstone, if we wanted Bleachstone. Uh, speaking of which, is this dormant yet? When is it going to go dormant? 48 cycles? Ugh. I need to keep an eye on this. I don't want to heat this entire up. Why would I want more Bleachstone? Because then I can put it in the Geotuner and heat up these geysers and make them produce more water. That's kind of the, the method behind the madness. All right, so what am I going to do? Like, how much... What's going on now? Body? Uh-oh. Oh, I forgot to turn this back on! Chat! That's your fault. Uh, little stone hatchley. How did you get out? Hmm. Sorry, buddy. Oh, wait, are you natural? Oh, no, you're tame. Yep, you gotta go away. You're eating the goodies. We won't watch. Snazzier violet suit? Violet? You're turning violet! Uh, supplying farming, building rocketry supply. No, we'll take the snazzier violet suit. Who's gonna get the violet suit? Here we go. Soul Oracle gets the violet suit. All right. Um, let's make... So the key is when all this starts growing is how do we decipher about how much we want to send through the plant pulverizer and get Brackeen. So let's, let's play around with this a little. Let's, I guess, make this the level. There's the Critter Fountain. Gives a happiness plus five. Probably is what overwrites their... So we're going to use one of these. We're going to try one of these. I also need to make some more refined metals because that was the last of our copper. Uh, we'll do a nice 25 here. Ellie, Ellie says, I keep mixing up this colony in the max difficulty run. I was about to be like, cool, like it was a gold volcano for that. Yeah, I wish. I wish. All right, so we have the critter fountain in here. We'll take a closer look at these things once we get the whole system going. And we're going to put our plant pulverizer not under food. It's under stations, I suppose. The milking station. I cannot wait to milk a gassy moo. I'm glad they expanded upon them. I guess it is not there. Maybe it's in refinement. Plant pulverizer. All right, it has a liquid output. All right, so I'm going to try, like, right here. It's made out of raw minerals. We want some brackeen, but I also want to make sure... I want to make sure that the majority is going towards our our souffles. Why do we have 66,000 calories worth of raw egg? Uh, chat. Is something broken? Something... Oh, no sleet wheat. No sleet wheat. Yep, that's what it is. Hi, Echo. Do you think it boosts cold steam vent and process it directly with a steam turbine? Yeah, but you still have to tame it, right? And you still have to tame it and cool it. First time chatter, Lord Coon 159. Um, so if you're going to tame it, you might as well tame it with a steam vent version. Uh. So, do I just make some omelets real quick? Or do I let them eat all the rest of the stuff? And how long are these raw eggs going to last? Let me do another one of these for now until we get our deep freezer going. 
I'm debating. 32%. 32%. Hmm. Okay. We're going to take a look at this. Does it have automation? It has no automation. So we'd actually have to select it and pick how many units. Oh, and it takes water. 10 units of sleet wheat? What? It takes 10 sleet wheat and 15 water to make 20 kilos worth of bracken? Unknown Lewis says danger zoom. Look, the mods fixed it. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> that is a terrible conversion rate. Nosh beans, it only takes two nosh beans. Pinch of pepper plant, it only takes three pinch of pepper nuts. But sleep wheat, it takes ten. I guess this is like almond milk. This is wheat milk, I guess. And this is, what's a bean milk? Soy milk? Nosh beans or soy milk, confirmed. Yeah, that's a, I don't want to do this anymore. For only 20 kilos worth of bracken. And then I take 20 kilos worth of bracken. They're, they're going to modify that. There's no way they don't modify that. And we take the 20 kilos worth of bracken. Hold on. And we put it through the brack wax cleaner. Not out of iron, though. That is a refined metal. And it takes 90 grams... It takes 1,000 grams, so in other words, one kilo. So this would give us 25 or 20 kilos. Look, chat, I'm pro I'm pro streaming today. Okay? I'm pro streaming. No, I muted while I coughed. <laughs> pro streamer. Um So basically, for 20 kilos into the brack wax cleaner. In fact, I can do it here, can't I? Oh no, it's automatic. You get 90 grams per second of brack wax. And it takes one gram or one kilo per second in. So for all that, for that 20 kilo, for that 20 kilos from that, oh, I'm confusing myself. From the 20 kilos of bracken that we get, we're given 900? 20, 20, no, no, no. no. 1.8 kilos worth of brack wax. Ugh. No, not even 1.8. 900 grams. Yeah, 1.8. Hold on, chat. I'm, I've gotten myself streamer brained. 90 times 20. 1.8 kilos worth of brack wax. Because nobody cares about the brine or the carbon dioxide. It's all about that brack wax. But then you take that brack wax. So I guess it does give you a lot. It gives you a way to get to plastium. But it's just not a good source of bracken. Because it's only 20 kilos worth of bracken. 
I wonder what the water cooler takes. I'll bet you it's one kilo per. So it's just, you don't need a lot. But I'm assuming the critters... I'm assuming the critters, it's one kilo per sip. So one kilo for six critters would only last three cycles. I mean... Uh... Critters are five kilos? Oh, that's junk. That means for 10 sleet wheat, you only get five sips of bracken for the critters per cycle. Yeah, that's not worth it. That is not worth it at all. Yeah, I'm not doing this either. Nope, not doing it. Reclaiming those materials. The Valoris, what the follow? Sleet, sleet wheat drops only one? No. Sleet, sleet wheat only drops one per cycle. Whenever the plant's harvested, it drops 18. But it's only one per cycle. So just to get... Yeah, think about the math behind that. You need 2.5 sleet wheat to be able to feed one critter per cycle. The Valoris is stopping by while you're live to follow, back to watching your VOD, back to, to catch up. I appreciate you stopping by. It's always appreciated. Do we get anything from the critters drinking milk? Yes. You get plus five to happiness on the critters. So basically what happens is this overcrowded, you can make them overcrowded. See how the unhappiness right now says minus five happiness? Well, if they're drinking the milk, they get the plus five happiness, which means they're going to keep laying eggs at the same rate. Uh, but why are they unhappy right now? Six critters? 64 tiles. I thought the number was six. Okay. 64 divided by 12. 5.33. Man, my math has been all over the place today. All right, let's find the oldest one and say goodbye. Whoop. 57. Sorry. Ed says today. Look, it's been a week. All right. It has been a week that I am not. Uh, yeah, it's been a week. I know. I know. Whatever. All right. What, do, what else we got? What else we got? You are the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> How are we doing here? 304. Oh, wow. This is going up too quick. This is going up too quick. We're at 170 ish because there's still some critters around here that are changing that. But all right, we wanted to seal this in. That's also something that was on the agenda. We will do that shortly as well. We will check this pod steel. I'll take some free steel. Tidy and digging and supplying with quick learning and gourmet. Ah. Uh, but the noodle arms is is offset. Yeah, they have noodle arms, which is a minus three to strength. But they have plus five to strength. They don't actually get the plus ten for both tidying and supplying, which is kind of a, a ripoff. Anglomo says, it sounds like they reworked how happiness works with critters. The level of unhappiness is supposed to increase depending on the overcrowded they are. I've never seen that. I've always just seen overcrowded minus five happiness. Cramped um, is different. Cramped is when there's an egg also in there. Throw me a freaking bone here. Anglomo says it's new with this update. Overcrowding scales now. Ooh. You figure as a professional oxygen not included streamer that I would have read the patch notes closer. I did read the patch notes. Uh, it's plus one overcrowding for each critter. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right. Um, yeah, we're taking this, Devin. Get in some new dupe raffles. 
That Kevin's not too shabby. They're going to be a tidying, supplying. They're going to do all the things. Yeah, they can do carrying, tidying, and digging. We'll start them off with the carrying, but we'll leave their hat off. Boom. I said Devin, not Kevin. There's two different things, all right? <laughs> oh, Rob Roy's got a raffle in. Rob Roy McGregor. All right, so we are working on suits, right? We have the reed fiber. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of reed fiber. In fact, we have enough reed fiber to put in some carpets. Yes. Let's get those tickled tootsies. You get tickled tootsies. You get tickled tootsies. Everybody gets tickled tootsies. And suits. Uh, the problem was this area that we didn't like at all, did we? Did not like it. I suppose we should just gut it now. And stop being worried about it. I also want to get in here and tame this thing so we can start adding its water to our collective. Oh. Chat, is this the way? Do you just want to use this cold water to tame this thing? I feel like that's the way. Yeah, let's do that. We're doing that right now. We're going to go in here like this. We're going to go in here like something like that. Oh, yeah. And we're just going to come through here. There we go. Yeah, this is going to be groovy. KB202009, first time chatter. After keep watching the VODs, finally catching you live. I appreciate you stopping by. Welcome, VODlander. Yeah, we're going to take all this cool water. Because this water should always, pretty much always be cool. Because it's coming out of a nice cool vent. And we're going to... We're going to tame this steam vent. Now, it will warm it up a little bit, but not so much that it should have a problem here because remember, we have the independent cooling loop. And look, this thermal aqua tuner, even after re-chilling, this cycle, it's been running 0% of the time. Last cycle was only 14%. So it's really no problem for it to cool down even if you're using warmer water. Petition for new organization, the Department for Critter Happiness. Oh, uh, we are going to have to vacuum this out, which is going to be somewhat of a pain. I need some water to drip here, but this carbon dioxide thing is bothering me. So we're going to keep trying some stuff. Come on, carbon dioxide. Do it. There we go. We will sweep that. I don't know how we're going to get in there quite yet, but we will figure it out later. Bulldoze all this. We'll keep this line for now. And then we can do something like that to be able to get in and out of it and hopefully keep the lock. If I do, yep, there it is. It's a soft lock. It's a soft lock. All right, we route ready with this new dupe raffle. Let me also make sure their schedule's set. Devin is going to be down here on uh, the Bristleberry shift. Let me pop this out. Pop out the reward queue. All right, we have seven. Chances are pretty good here. We as are. Will you mind hitting an exclamation roll space seven, please? 
Exclamation roll space seven is the way. We Azar rolled a seven, which means Sam Pie is in the colony. Thank you everybody for the collective loyalty points and continuously watching the stream. I mean, you are fantabulous. Hello, Devin. Your now name is now Sampai. Don't question it. Just do it. All right, so as long as we make this quick, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to need some power, though. Oh, perfect. How much is on this line? Not much. We'll pretend like. So that's going to be where the liquid pump is, right? Where does liquid pumps go? Give me a liquid pump. Top. Liquid pumps go to the top, so that's going to be that way. But for now, it's going to be a gas vent. And we're just going to gas pipe it out and drop it like it's hot. Because it, it will be hot. <laughs> Oh, uh, especially considering we have to vacuum it out with... Oh, no. It broke out. It broke out. Why are you the way you are? Oh, are you all steam yet? If I can get all steam in here, that would also work. Actually, it'd probably be better just to start cooling it now. That way it'll get the steam going down. Right in here. Radiant liquid pipes. Aluminum. I need more aluminum. I guess we'll use copper here. And did I and did I use steel for the gas the copper gas gas pump? No. We did not use steel. We were foolish. There we go. Ventilation. Once again, this time let's try using steel. It seems like a good strategy. And then we also are going to throw in a bunch of temperature shift plates, except we don't have any great materials with temperature shift plates right now. Um, so we're going to use something mediocre, like... Uh, Igneous rock, because it's slow heating. Perfect. There we go. And then we're also... We're going to add a hydro sensor. The reason why is because the colder we can keep this... I'll be able to explain it more. Oh, I'm not going to be able to put... I'm going to have to put some... Where's the liquid pipes... Coming in at right here, top right. Let's save ourselves some time and do that. And this. Liquid bridge that way and a liquid bridge that way. That way we have a place for the pump. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be trying to keep enough thermal mass in here. Probably up to like here to just where the steam vent is not over pressure. Once it, that's there, it's going to hold a lot of chill. Probably at like two to four degrees, as long as enough of this water goes through. Once that happens, when the steam comes out, it's instantly going to flash. But because there's going to be so little um, gas that's flashing, it's going to average in with the big pool of water. Old Man Wiki with the gold package! Officer Wiki has been promoted to the gold package. Nicely done, Wiki. Nicely done. All right, get in there. Come on. Get it in. We'll still make this out of steel, or just in cases. Unfocused that I made it. I'm alive, barely.
I think I'm in the mood to spend some Echo, says Wiki. The Echo Society for the Protection of Cruelty to Critters. The ESPCC. <laughs> oh. It wouldn't be an Echo Society. It's a Royal Society. It's the Royal Society for the Protection of Cruelty to Critters. <laughs> we, we, um, we, uh, we like to do pretend like we're British, right? Our societies belong to the crown. Do we get a blueprint soon? Yes. We only have one blueprint left, so we'll try to do it like halfway. So yes, very soon. Pumpkin asks, do I get wallpaper with the diamond package? Absolutely. Diamond package, remember, you get your own, like, one-bedroom loft. All right, where's the power? I thought we had power coming in. Oops. Like that. <laughs> Hurry up while it's not erupting. It's very active. Look at this. It's eruption period is basically a quarter of a cycle every half cycle. That's why it produces so much water. Because remember, it's 600 seconds inside of a um, inside of a cycle. Oh, I see what you were doing. Ed was trying to do a critter acronym. The critter rejoicement imperative thriving toward exceptional royalty. Well done. All right, we got to hurry up. Will it be able to vacuum it out that quickly? In seconds? I don't think so. 75 seconds. Vacuum it out, I dare you. I double dare you, come on. It's a very small room. 50 seconds. Ugh, there's milligrams. It's gonna have to wait till next time. We're at milligrams, 20 seconds. Five, four, three, pause. Boop. Because unfortunately we do not want it to do steam. Oh, there's milligrams in here. Micrograms even. And do you see how the radiant pipes, they're instantly flashing it? Uh, oh, this is not right. This is the same water going around and around. That's not how you do. Yeah, that water's already 60 degrees, 70 degrees. <laughs> it's supposed to go through once. The Critter Act. The Critter Act of 2023 established the Royal Society for the... Against, a Royal Society against the cruelty for critters. Arsac. All right, now we can reconnect this. Get it, get it, get it, get it, girl. Come on. Is it a vacuum already? It's a vacuum. I don't know how that worked. It's a, it's a vacuum right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to deconstruct that yet until we're finished. Because you know that will not be the end of it. Let me see if I can get some automation in here. Hydro sensor right here. This will be good. Whoop. And what we're going to do with this water? Uh, for now, I don't know. <laughs> it's going to have to pull for a little bit. Uh, is that normal? No, we don't. We want insulated. I suppose I can have it mix in afterwards. Once it's high enough. And that way... Basically, it'll become its own storage tank, or by de, de by de facto, this will become the storage tank for this geyser. Because what we can do is then put a bridge. No, I need to do it 50-50. It has to stay 50-50 because this loop needs to keep running. Otherwise, this would all heat up and eventually be not good. Okay, oh, is everything good in here? We have three seconds again. Don't break it. 
it's gonna break our lock. It shouldn't. No. You have to be above, let's say, 100. No, let's say 250. Does everybody understand what I'm trying to get at? Above? 250 kilos, please. Oh. Enter. There we go. So now it's going to be sharing. And hopefully draining fast enough to where this is not going to... This will still keep flowing, which it has to because it's the chill. You know. We're just halfway past flute. Let's go to three-quarter flute. We'll go to three-quarter flute before we do the, the blueprint. What's that water coming out now? 91 degrees? Yeah, we need more water is the point. We need more thermals. All right, so... But it looks like this is holding, so I can get rid of the gas pipes. Like that. Yeah, that's entirely too hot. But as soon as they are out, there we go. Sweep it. Sweep it real good. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, something can't be swept. Storage unavailable for steel. No way. Surely I wouldn't have done that. There you go. Still a vacuum? Like, I don't mind that the water's hot. It just can't flash in the pipes. That makes me think, should I use a less radiant pipe? I actually don't have, I could use iron. That's, iron's not as good as copper. No, this will be fine. I have to trust it that I have to raise the water level and that'll work. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. <laughs> Whiskey with the command. Exclamation RSPCCC. Like, I liked RSAC better. It's RSPACC, so it's RSPAC. I guess RSPCC works. For the low cost of one brekkeen, you too can provide a Dreco with a habitat where it can thrive. Call the number at the bottom of your streams to donate to the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Quitters. What are you waiting for? Call now. My goodness, whiskey, that is great. That is great. Like, you've seen too many of those commercials, apparently. All right, now watch as this water chills this water. And it will slowly rise. We'll see. We're going to see how this works in a little bit. Yeah, I do believe it's supposed to be the... Critter cruelty, not cruelty critters. That makes it sound like they're just mean critters. Okay, there's the edit. <laughs> oh. oh, and everybody's starting to sing in the arms of an angel. <laughs> that little bop. Getting everybody all sad. Like, I gotta give money it's for the critters. Oh, it's so good. So good. <laughs> Malogi said, but it's where we got our dog last year. I didn't know you could actually adopt. I didn't know you could actually adopt using that service. Whiskey says I harnessed my inner Sarah McLaughlin. McLaughlin. Yeah, for that. <laughs> Starving? Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, chat. Unpermitted food. Starvation. Oh, chat. 734 calories out of Big Wave Dave. Ghost has 891. Okay. It's okay. How fast can we cook an omelet? Oh, my goodness. How... This is the problem with sleet wheat. It takes forever. It takes forever. All right, let me see how fast we can get an omelet made. And move Big Wave Dave down here. So as soon as the omelet comes up, go. Make the omelet. Make the omelet. Wait a minute, Dave. No. You're waiting, Dave. 
Wait, Dave? All right, I'll just hold on to your move two command. Yeah, now what? You can't move, can you? Huh? There you go, big wave. Uh, who's the next? Ghost? Ghost is taking a shower. Ghost, you're done with your shower, buddy. Um, don't even care if your drawers are on. Why? Why aren't we making more? Uh-oh. Ghost? Okay, Ghost is chilling. There you go. Soul Oracle, you can't take that food. You're coming down here. No, Ghost, go eat! There's an omelet right there! Oh, no! Okay, now go get the omelet. There we go. Whew! They ate everything. Like, there's no pickled meal. There's nothing. Not. It works, though, huh? I guess we're going to keep making omelets until we see some sleet wheat coming up. I don't want to make too many omelets, though. So I'm going to take it off of forever because I want to save those raw eggs. So let's go with another... What do we have? 5,000 calories? We'll wait till the 5,000 calories goes away. That's five more dupes worth of food. We only... Ugh, we still have plenty of cycles, so I'm going to need more than that. I'm going to do a quick... Let's say 30. Let's do 30. That's a lot of eggs. My goodness. We got... Uh, we have... Barbecue coming in, too, though. That's almost there. The water's still at 90 degrees. It must have just stopped erupting. And these temperature shift plates are going to take forever to cool down too, especially with no environment. But it'll work eventually. Eventually. Depending on how high we can raise the water level. It's going to be fine. Ed in with the drink. That was my last sip of Perrier. We're going to have to go to the backup water here. All right, let's do a, a prediction. Glenn, do you want to do a, a prediction right there? Huh? I can throw it up as well. In fact, I already got it. Already got it. One step ahead of you. The prediction is up. We got five minutes. Five minutes. What you're predicting is whether or not this little thing right here. Is it clothes? Is it drywall? Or is it something else? Is it something else? Yeah, see, this is what heats everything up back again. But eventually, we'll drive down the temp. Like, this water was down to 80. I mean, it's kind of good. We're going to see. We're going to see how it works. And it doesn't really matter if the water's hot, like we said before. Because we're just using it to supplement the sleep weight. I would like... It would be great. Uh, where's this water coming from? That's being fed to oxygen. It's also needing to stay cool. Oh, our temperature... Handling is very thin right now. It's very... Mm. Rob Roy says today is the payphone date. Like, look, don't do that to yourself. Okay? Don't do that to yourself. That doesn't seem very fair to you. Uh Boom. Oh, kitchen. We have to get working on a kitchen because this kitchen is very, very bad. And I think this is our deep freezer spot, right? But I don't know if I made this too close to put an oven in here too. Uh, it kind of makes me want to move this thing over a little. That way we could have the grill on one side. 
Oh, it's gonna be a pain in the tuchus. It's gonna be a pain in the tuchus. Okay. We're just gonna move it. Because I need to put the deep freezer, like, right here. So... Uh, maybe this? Because if I have an oven... Right there, it should still be able to reach there. And then we'll have the grill... See, trying to future plan your stuff, it's it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough, to gotta be honest. Bob, sir, first time chatter, so trying to make a pip tree farm and pips aren't planting any trees. Advice. A couple of things. Um, A, have you watched my pip tutorial on YouTube? I mean, let's be honest. Um, otherwise, are you going from top down and from right to left you got to make sure there's no other plants in the mid area and you also have to make sure the hardness is good there's a lot of things right i'm gonna move this over that can go away so can this i'm hoping this is going to be enough room Chat, why did nobody mention where the face cam is on the stream yet? Uh-oh, I'm about to get in trouble. I'm about to get in trouble. Now, because this is debris, because eggs are, con they, it kind of acts like debris, we should be able to scoosh them over just like this. Yes. Boom. Scooshed. Of course, we could also just select them all, keep selecting and moving them all, but... Kitsune, I know you're happy and you're singing, but can we work more too, please? Thank you, buddy. <laughs> all right. We now have 56,000 calories worth of omelets. I guess we'll get the four more. 85% on the sleep week. <laughs> Whiskey says, by the way, the face cam's in the wrong position. Your face cam's in the wrong position. All right, so there we go. Let's just get rid of all this. Uh, yep, that's going to have to go away. I know it's sad, right? Now we have enough room here. We're going to get rid of this. We're always going to need the egg cracker for the raw eggs, but the deep freezer can be right in this spot right here which means I need the metal tile right here. Boom. Okay, okay, uh-oh, what did I? Oh, I messed something up, didn't I? Connect the power! Uh, I guess we'll do this for now. That way there's enough room for an oven and there's enough room for an electric grill right here. Heike with the lurk, I appreciate you. Um, all right, this is kind of too low. I got to move this up one. I just realized this is where the insulated tile needs to be right here, here and here. And then insulated tile here, insulated tile here. Yes. Now you'd think you could, if you can deconstruct and build tiles, in places like this, you'd figure that you could put a conveyor chute in here. And this would be very easy, except you can't reach it. Apparently you can't do that. So we have to do other creative things. Now, let's, uh, I'm gonna have to move the egg cracker for now. Look, I'm a professional. You can, you can trust me, okay? You can trust me. I want uh, steel right there. I'm gonna use a steel radiant gas pipe because it's much better because it's refined. And uh, right here as well. 
Might as well. Scoop those out. So now it's going to be a drop here. Nope, it's going to be drop here. Yes, this is the way. This is the way. Now just a little bit of water. A little bit of water. This is the softest lock. It's a very soft lock. Because we need the water to sit right here. There we go. It doesn't matter that goes all over those places, but we do have to be able to mop this one up. Everybody getting this? I hope so. So now this is all a vacuum, right? Nope, there's carbon dioxide in there for some reason. Why is there carbon dioxide? I just flooded it. Okay, okay, no big deal, no big deal. Second verse, same as the first. I'm Henry the Eighth. I am. We'll start this way. There must have been a carbon dioxide bubble there. I don't understand why not letting the carbon dioxide stay. And that's a very good point by Sicko. Um, it's because I want more carbon dioxide, right? Like if I was patient, I could just uh, unlock this, let it sit for a while until it's nothing but carbon dioxide, and it would also work. But another reason why is because carbon dioxide is not a great conductor of thermals. Um, so you want to avoid it if possible. Water? Here we go. Oh, yeah. Just take a look at this. Jaded Parrot, I found the move in empty negates the bottle emptier a lot. Oh, that's a good point. That's a very good point. Uh, we are going to undo. Nope. Right here. Thank you. You've been a great service. Just have the water in the chute tile and let it freeze, maybe? No, because you need an environment. Or you want an environment. That way the thermals also transfer with that tile, too. You could do it just by making this tile really cold. But it helps if this tile is also cold. Okay, can we mop up the mess, please? Act like you've been there. In deck Oroso with the follow. Here we go. Now we have a vacuum. Now we can mop this up. We can sweep all this. And... Conveyor chute, shipping, conveyor chute. Yes. I also, since we're in here, I like to put conveyor chutes or conveyor rails on all sides of it. Whoop. There we go. And chat, to be honest, that's kind of it. Right? Except now we don't even have to use the old trick. Watch this. Watch this. What is this? 400 kilos? I'm going to say 400. Uncheck it and recheck it. They're going to leave a little bit of bleach stone. Oh, this is the first time I've been able to do this. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to move it. Because you got to move it, move it. And put it right there. Oh, I messed up. I'll be able to fix it, though. Okay, we're okay. This needs to be an insulated tile as well. Bleach stone is in. Seal it up. Seal her up. Yes. Ha ah, ah! ha! Thank you, Sam Pie, for finally finishing that. I get it, you're a new dupe. I mean, look. There we go. Man, that move too is clutch. Thank you, Clay. We love you. Oh, beautiful. Now we have a little deep freezer. As long as I didn't remember to put all the rest of the things in, right? So now we're gonna take insulated gas pipes going out. The problem is getting this chill all the way up here. I think it's gonna have to be a double sort of whammy situation. Like this. And like this. 
Eh. Gabby, I hope you had a great night at work. Oh, wait a minute. What time is it? Uh, oh no. Gabby must have just woken up. Back and go there. Perfect. It's still going to be too tight. Gotta hate that. <laughs> I didn't mean to chat. Oh, it babe. just... It came out. <laughs> yeah. All right. I didn't, yeah, baby! The words yeah. just... Uh-huh. Just gonna move on now. Moving on. Move on! Uh... Well, I'm gonna get these lines moved. And then I'll deal with the rest. I can go up here now. If I'm moving one over, why wouldn't I move the other one over? Because it goes up and up forever? I mean, that's a fair point, but we're going to do it anyways. Whee! And then deconstruct all this. Yes! Get to work, dupes! Egg conveyor chute? What did I do to the egg conveyor chute? Oh. Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> you didn't build it, Echo. Hashtag pro gamer. Yes. And then we're going to take these vents and we'll put them like right here. And like right here. And that is it. Actually, I don't even have to do that, right? I can just move them over. Like that. No, because there's normally doors over there. Normally doors. Lots of stuff in this tile. Please hold. There we go. It's like nothing ever changed. Joya seeds. We need some Joya seeds, actually, because one of our bedrooms is not doing great. Or one of our... Oh, no, they're actually all growing now. Very nice. It's gotten a little warmer. <laughs> Rob Roy, I appreciate the lurk. Oh, blueprint, that's right. What did we get up for grabs today? Uh, 70... About 100,000 uh, loyalty points. 100,000 echoes. Oh, chat, I'm not ready. Chat, I could use this one, okay? But I know I got a, a good cot last time. I know I got a good cot. So I don't think, I don't think that it's going to give it to me. I don't think they're going to give it to me. Here we go. I don't, oh, that made a special sound. It said a dink. It made a special sound, chat. It's wallpaper. I think the special sound is... Ah, you already have this. Ah, to tink You already have this. This is a duplicate. That's what that sound was. Oh, and just to show off, because I think Pumpkin is waiting for this one, too. All wallpapers. Oh, look at the stripes. Look at the stripes! Yep, I now have two pastel polka prints. Uh, two pastel polka prints, two sour lemons, two cloudy boys, two diagonal petal diagonals. Yep, keep laughing it up, Clay. Keep laughing it up. And by the way, send some nitpicking, Clay. If you're going to call them wallpapers, can we put the pipes behind them? Okay, people don't run pipes on the outside of their wallpaper. Ugh. You know what I'm saying. I can now upgrade that to 2 to 10, or all the way up. Whoop, 20k. Kenny Dave says I've got three payphones. Stop it. Stop it. Doreem says, give me one. I would. I would I would straight up trade you. Like, you should be able to maybe trade with Steam Friends or something. That'd be kind of cool. 
Um, oh, we finally have sleet wheat again. My goodness. So why aren't we making souffle pancakes? We are. They're just not grabbing them all fast enough. Um, we're also going to be sending... Oh, this is going to be problematic. We're going to need to send a rail up to drop off all the sleet wheat into the deep freezer as well. Soon. We'll get there soon. All right. Now, did we make enough room? I got to move these over because it's how we are because I'm broken. So now I can have one going through here, one going through there, and it looks a little bit better, right? Whoop, whoop. And that needs to stop doing there. Not bad. Not bad. All right, so. I wrap my pipes up with wallpaper like it's wrapping paper, says <laughs> Kitsune. Uh. Okay. So it's going to come out of here. Insulated. All right, we have the insulated. Go up through here. Now, this is where it gets a little wonky. Okay. Ew. Ew! And then come out here, and then it's going to go down... Uh, we want to go the metal tile, I guess, first. Uh, yeah, because I did it that way. It's just the way it came out. I'd rather hit the metal tile first, but this is okay. And then we are also going to come back down. All right. And we're going to get up again. And you're never going to keep me down. Like this. Go down. Straight through there. Oh, yeah. Oh, fine. <laughs> and there it is. Now all we have to do is bring on, bridge on some of this beautiful hydrogen. Like this. In fact, I'm going to do it down here so we get more hydrogen. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Well, other than this weird little thing here that I'm not pleased with, but we're just going to move on about it. We're not going to focus on it. All right, right now, for the record, this is at 24 degrees. I need to make sure the thermal regulator is off. So we're going to say above 5,000. Yes, yes. Prediction didn't release my echoes. What do we get? We got wallpaper. You're right. I didn't um, click the button. Drywall. Choose the prediction. Complete the prediction. There you go. Now you get your echoes. Thank you for the um, reminder, Jamian. I appreciate you. Uh-oh. Uh, that transformer's off. That's not good. What is not powered right now? And did I break anything? This goes suits. Okay, that's not great. All the food here. Don't you worry. You're going home soon. All right. Now, in this case, you need... You need a couple of auto sweepers per side. You need one auto sweeper that is responsible for taking food... Or putting food into the deep freezer. That is going to be this little guy's job. Right here. Then you need one to take things out of the deep freezer. Which is going to be this one right here. But the two auto sweepers are not allowed to see each other. Is It gets a little complicated like that. This auto sweeper here cannot see the conveyor loader. Which it looks like if I put the conveyor loader on the outside here... It will not be able to. It's not the cleanest install. But it should work. So shipping. Like this. Conveyor loader. What is this here? I've had aluminum ore and I'm sitting there messing around with copper. 
Ah, oh, what is wrong with you, Echo? We'll use copper ore and go like that. And then the oven's going to do the same thing. We're going to have an auto super here. The oven's going to sit right here. Hopefully, in a three tile wide spot, we're going to check. If not, I'm going to have to move this over. Where's my oven? Food, food, food. Gas range. Oh, perfect. Look at it. Look at it. Copper. And this one. Uh... I'm not in love with it. This one's going to... Okay, this is good. This is actually a good thing. Because this auto sweeper can be responsible for a couple of things. We'll have them flanking the oven. That way, this auto super is also going to pick up the barbecue and throw it in there as well. Shipping. Right here. Look, it's a little ugly. I get it. I get it. Don't at me. Look at Wee are already thinking about that thumbnail. Yeah, you are. The centerpiece, though, is here. This looks pretty good. We're also going to need a nice light here. With a nice weight plate. Oh, where? Weight plate. Tell me I made all these out of granite. Of course I didn't. Of course I didn't. This is all granite for the better decor. Make this all granite as well. It's coming together. This could now go through the rail to hide it. So we can deconstruct this bridgy poo. Did I just say bridgy poo? Yes, I did. Can we move on about it? We don't have to stay with it. All right. Lots of grown men use the word bridgy poo. It's, there's no creative license on it. Here we go. This is going like there. And I will just delete that rail because that dirt's not going to move for a little while. And then this can go all the way through and come down. This can get deconstructed. Oh, it's starting to come together. Ed says it's not pleasing to the eye. Look, I can't do anything about my face. Okay, I'm sorry. Trapped dupes? No, there's not. You're a trap dupe. Oh, did I overfill the hydrogen line? Not yet. Not yet. But it's working on it. In fact, watch this. Watch this nonsense. We don't need power. Go fill my line. Let's separate it there. No. No, 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 no. You're doing it wrong. Uh, please remind me to reconnect all these things. Please and thank you. Oh, yeah, now that's the good stuff. Yep, filling it up. Filling it up. Staying alive. Staying alive. This is a long loop, which is... When you have a long loop like this, you want it more full. Because the more full it's going to be, the more efficient it's going to be. Especially at this length. And I think we're going to stop right here. Yep. That's where we're stopping. So for now, we can go snip that back. That gets connected there. That gets connected there. And this can get con disconnected just for now, so I don't bridge any more on. And it's still bridging because it's backing it up from the other side. It's okay. Hopefully there's enough room in this little loop. Oh, yeah, that's plenty. That's good. Boom. 
Now let's turn this sucker on. We're going to start with a nice even minus 30. Huh? Just get it. Just get it. Oh, there's even more gaps. I mean, had I known. Uh, output, output. Nope. Gone wrong. wrong way! Wrong way! Abort! Abort! Oh, those gaps are too big. I'm gonna have to bridge back on. I have to bridge back on. I'm just gonna have to be careful to make sure this thing's not running when I do it. Or there's still one gap. And then I will disconnect that there. Come on, build it. Thank you. And I will disconnect this so I still have some. Yes. All right, where are my gaps? Nice gap. Come on. All right, so we have three blobs. We need three blobs. They're coming around. Oh, no, that's not, a, that's not the right tile. That needs to be insulated. What's the condensation point of chlorine? Right now, I'm only super chilling it, um, but it's close to that. I'm only getting the hydrogen as cold as possible, right? Okay, and one more. Okay, now we're done. Right, now we're done. Yep, because there's one more gap right there, which is fine. Gas bridge. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Everything back to normal now? Still enough power to keep the spawn going, hopefully? <laughs> yes! Alright, so... Chlorine. 34... Minus 34.6. So it's close. But it should be good. Alright, automation. This is gonna come... Up and around. Uh, nope, the other one's that way, so we're going to do it like that. All this needs to be picked up. Not the foods, obviously. I get it. And, yep, in right here. Uh-huh. That can go away. Goodbye, ladder. Oh, is this where we put the little fridge? Food? Refrigerator? Oh, uh, it can't go here because of the bridge? Oh, well, don't you worry. That bridge is going down here anyways. It's time to beautify, folks. It's time to beautify. I think I can bridge that over, right? They may It may be unbuildable. Nope, they can build it there. Uh, I guess we're going to use not aluminum or iron, which is, I think, what all that's being built out of. Need more refined metals, please. All right. Yeah, right now, we're still in the process of renovating. So I don't mind that this is all looking like a dumpster fire quite yet. Oh. Oh. This will not work. Anybody want to tell me why? Anybody want to tell me why? It's getting late for me. Going to watch the VOD tomorrow. KB, I appreciate you stopping by. Yep, no room for doors. That's exactly what it is. All right, so that has to be there. So maybe this goes down one. And then I can move this over. Move this little fella here. It'll still be able to see it. Okay. All right, let's go back to the drawing board. Maybe we just move the grill over. Yeah, we move the grill over. That's a pretty easy solution. It's going to look more compact, which I am not in love with. But... Yeah, everything's got to move. And that's going to go here still. Yes. Now that can go there, except not with the automation. Thank you. Yes. 
Yes. I mean, let's be honest, it's looking decent. Whoever invented this, they owe me some sort of severance. Like, there's severance pay needed. I might, that might be the very first, the very first sound alert that I put behind actual bits. Dreaming kid soon. Thank you for the flute. Flute! Dark Majora with a posture check. And a stretch. Oh, that one's good. Thank you. Okay. Um. Oh, there's a doctor decorator. We already have a doctor decorator, don't we? Yeah. I'm pretty sure we do. We need to make sure. There's our doctor decorator. Yeah, we don't need you. We'll take some bliss bursts. Moving on. Boop. All right, so that's all being moved. No one's in danger. No one's in danger. Echo doesn't like the flute. I do like the flute. I like the flute just a little bit more sparingly than you like the flute. Okay? Chat likes to go ham on the flute. All right, this is coming out of this one. Boop, boop. There we go. And now we can connect all of this. Oh, this would be even cleaner. Where's this coming from? Yeah, if we go up and around too. Like this. So now the wires only have to go down that way. Yes. Is Echo saying he only wants one flute per stream? I don't know. I don't know what the appropriate amount of flutage is. Like, what is a good amount of flutage? Overfluting the flute. It makes the flute more special. I do like the, fi the fact that we can tell time by the flute. <laughs> that's kind of funny. And that's a good meme. All right, so that's the... Uh, that's not right. Why is that over again? No, why can you see it? And you're two tiles away. Mm. Okay, okay, this is okay. This is okay. That might be all it takes. Is this little thing ugly? Yes. Oh, I can't do that. That's horrendous. Right, like I can't do that. Maybe we could prevent or prevent, pretend like it's a hood. Like it's a grill hood. Oh. Okay, uh, what about this? And then I could flip it around. That's what it's going to have to be. The reason why is the bottom tile is the point of interest. So that's where the auto super has to be able to see. So like this. And now this auto super cannot see that, um, cannot see this conveyor loader. And I still need one in here. This one is, resp oh no, now this one can see inside. Ugh. Okay. Okay. I'm okay, chat. I'm okay. Unfortunately, it's going to have to look a little ugly. It's it's going to look ugly. This one this one here cannot see inside the deep freezer. It's not supposed to. 
<gasps> okay, wait, wait, wait for it. Maybe. If I move this over by one, so it's flanking, just like this was before. Can an auto seeper see through glass tiles? I don't know if an auto super can see through window tiles. But this way the light's still coming? We're gonna see. I don't think they can because they literally have to move things. Oh, this is so hideous though. All right, well that works. It's hideous, but it works. Because this will not be able to see in there. I'm debating right now, chat. Oh, it's so ugly. Oh, it's so ugly, chat. I can't let this stand, can I? Ugh. Functionality over aesthetics. I get it, kindly boat. But this is supposed to be the big buffet run, right? This is supposed to be the big buffet run. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay. It's okay. What I don't understand is why I'm not having a problem here, and this is only three tiles wide, and this is three tiles wide. What am I doing different? All right, so two tiles away is the beginning of the thing. Same thing here. Why are they different? This one can see. This one. Yep, that one can see in. This one can see in. Good. This one can see just that. Oh, it's because we're trying to make room for a door. I don't have the room on the other side. Uh, can you write? Can you rotate the picker up? No, rotating, it doesn't actually change its visibility. I need one more tile here. Or I need to move the deep freezer over. <laughs> I mean, chlorine does stay stink, um, sunk, right? So I move the deep freezer over. No, that auto super won't be able to see in then. Oh! I'm gonna figure it out, chat. Don't you worry. We've got this. With our powers combined? This is just very, this is functional right now. This actually works. Actually, no, it doesn't. I just used actually too many times. It does not work because the refrigerator won't fit. But I thought about having two refrigerators where they drop off via conveyor loader or something. I don't know. I don't know, chat. All right, if I move this thing over one more. Just take a look at this. You're not the boss of me. I'm not doing it. Move the heavy watt wire. It's not the heavy watt wire that's the worried. Because if I did that, remember the door is supposed to be here. So they're all lined up and nice. This is the where the doors go. All right, I'm going to try one more thing. Okay. No, that's not it. Hmm. <gasps> okay. Okay, hold on. Hold. I've got it. Chat, I've got it. 
It's a two-story kitchen. It's a two-story kitchen. This is the way. I'm going to be very unhappy with this. But it's a two-story kitchen. Okay? Here's what we do. Right? Oh, yeah. Kitchen. Oh, yeah. Right there. People can look in the kitchen if they want. Because I get it. You want to see in. And then we have nice plastic tile. Um, plastic ladders. All this goes away. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Now... This only needs to pick things up and put them in the deep freezer. All the ingredients? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Maybe all the ingredients come in via conveyor rail. Oh. No. The two-story kitchen. This is the other level. Change eight. Change eight. Limeness. First time chatter. Been in Discord for like four years, but apparently wasn't following the stream. Oops. <laughs> Welcome. We appreciate having you. Uh, we can't drop that. That's where all of our food is right now. All right. So I need to get rid of all this carbon dioxide. What is, what is the major malfunction here? Like, why isn't the carbon dioxide going down? Hmm. Get like this, like... What a pain in the tuchus. And I'm also going to want to protect these things. So what I'm going to do... I'm getting rid of that abyss light for our pretty kitchen. So this is going away as well. Uh, buildings. Alright, we're going to do this chat and it's going to look nice. Noise. Yes. So now the grill goes down here. Okay. Yeah, you are obviously not working. You can go goodbye. Uh, where is... There's three to, right around the ladder. Yeah, so this is going to be insulated tile. Uh, we could actually clean that up a little bit, can't we? Like this now. Oops, don't do that. Yep. Very nice. All right, now that the food is up here, and I can sweep this, I can put the rest of the insulated tiles here and not have to worry about it. Are you using sweep by type yet? No, I am not. Like, how much dirt is sitting here? There we go. Now I can deconstruct that and the food will fall. Um, I'm considering moving this back up here. Because uh, I'm getting real tired of this stuff, right? I mean, it's obnoxious, to be honest. Uh, we can always keep that one here. It's not part of our kitchen anyways. So don't poo-poo it. There we go. The water will come in right here. Just temporarily. So it goes out, in, in, out. Right like that. And then we'll just bridge on just a little bit. Whoop. And find it some power. Absolutely. Yep. This is the way. Now the polluted water gets cleaned. That's plenty right there. 
It, this is a, this is probably permanent. This is probably permanent right here. The question is, I'm thinking about a fancy refrigerator system, right? I want a fancy refrigerator system. All right, this cannot see inside, which is good, but this one cannot either. Oh no! That doesn't work either! Hmm. Chat! Streamer's broken. Hmm. I want the two stories, but how do I do this with two stories now? That could drop in and then just feed the ingredients. Because it's just raw egg and sleet wheat, right? But whenever they're off numbered, we want to store the rest so it doesn't go bad. Weezer says, keep the CO2 in the kitchen so there can't be fires in the kitchen. <laughs> All right, that's doing well. Perfect. Except it's running out of power because uh, this is also on that line. Yep. Brilliant. There we go. Um, unless I had two conveyor receptacles, well, no, because we're also doing barbecue and everything else. We're, we're doing a lot of foods. We're running out of souffle pancakes, too, so I need to think about this and hurry. All right, so if this was here... Maybe, baby, we can just sleep on it tonight. What if I did one of these numbers? <gasps> I may have just cracked the code. I cracked the code. The code's been cracked. We have found the crack. Release the Kraken. All right. I have... No! <laughs> What's wrong with you, Echo? Why would you do that? Why would you break the deep freezer? Oh, oh no. Okay, it's okay. Chat, it's okay. It's okay. <sighs> oh. It's okay. Here's what we're gonna do. There's 80 grams in there. Do you think the bleach stone would erase 80 grams? I don't know. I mean, why? Carbon dioxide, just fall down. Fall down, carbon, or chlorine. Fall down. It's not gonna, is it, chat? It's not gonna. It's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. All right, I am fine. Okay, this is all a part of the act. This is definitely not anything out of the normal. Okay, nothing that you have to be concerned about. All right, this is all perfectly acceptable. Uh, right here, all right there, yes. Just when I figured it out too. Mm-hmm. Oh, this has got to go. This has got to go. 
Just a little bit of water. This is good. Codeman says, Codeman says chlorine is lighter than CO2. I know. I was being, um, oh, I didn't build this one. So, of course not. We gotta wait. Now I can do that. There we go. Now we can do this and this. It's all right, because Punkin said they're building one of these on their stream tonight. Yes. Yes. Oh, I am here for that. Brilliant. All right. Now all this can go. That can go. I figured it out. It was just a moment too late. Okay. Get all that swept. Get my conveyor shoot in. Now, give. where's my bleach stone? Oh, it's in there. You just can't see it. Okay. So we're going to make this say 400. Boop. Bleach, dude. And now we're going to move this right here. Thank you. You can do it if you put your dupe into it. Okay? One of the fav famous hip-hop sounds by Meep. All right, boom. Now we can lock it in. Lock it in. Lock it in. Let me begin. Finally. All right, see how it stopped? Because we overfilled it? Because we're a giant nub. And I don't want to have a bottle of hydrogen laying around, so we're just going to deconstruct one and then keep reconnect it. Now we can mop that. Oh, it's coming together now, chat. Now we, we are where we were like 30 minutes ago, but never your mind, okay? Never your mind. This is the way. This auto sweeper... Uh oh. Well. Well, it's not as pretty, okay? It's not gonna be as pretty. These auto sweepers can see inside. This auto sweeper is not supposed to. Right here and here. Cannot see inside, correct? Yes. So it will pick up all the goodies. That can still see there and so can that one so we got to move that over by one like that okay all right here we go here we go doesn't that look uh and the light don't worry about the light sweetheart okay we're gonna have a nice beautiful lamp where's my lamps I don't think I've got as many cool lamps as other people who will remain nameless because look, I have zero lamps. So it's gonna be a basic lamp, all right? Basic lamp. It's a little tighter, okay, but that never hurt anybody. <laughs> oh, I've got all the jokes. Uh, like that, there we go. Yes, yes. And the good thing is shipping, conveyor loader here, conveyor loader here. This is gonna grab barbecue. As soon as we move all of these over like that. How many are here? How long is it? What's the move to hotkey? It, tell me there's a move to hotkey. There's no move to hotkey, is there? All right, we need to find the move to hockey. Hold! Uh, game? Controls? Move to, move to, move to. They may not have put it in yet. I don't think they did. 
Hmm. Nope, they didn't. It's okay. It's okay. I can... Oh, there's actually not too many in here right now. This is fine. And conveyor rail. It's a compact kitchen, but... I mean, most kitchens are pretty tight. Uh, that's going to go like this. Not shabby. There are no chickens. Now, the one issue... Okay, this can't see in there now, really? Oh no, this one's only supposed to pick up from here. This one's supposed to be able to see in. Which means that one can't right now. Uh. Okay. It's a, it's okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. You're okay. We're all just kind of okay living in here. Which means now we can get rid of the lamp. It's okay. No. Yes. Good. Oh, wait a minute. Which means we don't actually need a second one, do we? Uh, yeah, we'll need one over here. Is it ugly? Yes. Am I fed up with kitchen designs? Yep. Is Pumpkin going to design a better kitchen? Yep. Uh, there we go. Am I going to be bitter about it? Absolutely not. Okay? Absolutely not. This is going to be great. Other than the fact that we're out of food. That's... That is less than opportune. That is, that is not as good. Let's get some barbecue going really quick. Uh, can I get some power, please? Thank you. <laughs> oh. Thank you for cooking the barbecue. Now. Oh, this is hideous. I suppose we don't need... No, this one still needs... Because it has to be able to grab the materials to put it in the gas range. Unless... Oh, nope. This one auto sweeper can do both. It can reach the gas oven. Alright, that's not shabby. See, we're coming around. Starting to look a little better. That's there. And yeah, okay, not bad. By the way, here's the new mushroom quiche. You need fried mushrooms, omelets, and some lettuce, but you get 6,400 calories for it. And a morale of plus 16. Codeman says, my industrial sauna keeps having hydrogen spawn in randomly for no reason. There are no hydrogen creations, creators, or buildings that take in hydrogen in the sauna. Do you have any ideas how hydrogen is appearing? Hmm. Every time I think the game is buggy and doing something, not every time, because I have seen tiles transpose. So I don't want to say, I don't want to minimize what is happening to you. Right? We also need an egg cracker. Right? Oh, uh, no! The egg cracker won't fit! Ah! <laughs> oh, I missed a drink a while by a while ago by Ad Anvil. Oh, thank you very much. What if I drop the floor like this? 
Would that help solve our problems? I think it would. Look at that, we're doing it again. It's gonna be five tiles high, and people are gonna complain, and they're gonna be saucy about it, okay? Look, this is what it takes. The right sweeper? No, the sweepers, rotating the sweepers doesn't do anything, look. Rotating sweepers doesn't do anything as far as, whoop. Let me show you here. Oh, come here, sweet. Oh, it's not gonna show there because I don't have a big open area, but yeah. Rotating sweepers doesn't do anything. Um, there we go. Now I can get in here and do, oh boy. That gas pipe's gonna be there. It's gonna annoy me. Especially considering clay won't make the wallpapers hide everything, but now if I do this, I might have some extra room. I don't. There's no extra room. Okay, this is fine. We're just gonna do this. This is fine. This is, we're okay. This is definitely not the definition of insanity. Okay, this is not it. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, we have an egg cracker station. This is the egg cracker station. This is where the sous chef sits. All right. Eggs come in. Eggs come in right here. They get cracked immediately. Where do the eggs come in? I guess we're just gonna have to drop the eggs here. Okay. This is, this is what it is now. This and, yep. In fact, maybe I can do something like this. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Stick a spice grinder in it for a good measure. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. This side will be spice grinders and egg cracker things. Are you on barbecue forever still? Good. Oh, we're running out of food again. Let's make some pickled meal. <laughs> so what grabs from the freezer? Um, this one right here grabs from the freezer. This has been a masterclass. I'm surprised I haven't gotten a call from them yet. I'll be honest. <gasps> or maybe the eggs come in here because it's only completed foods really that go in the gas range. No. Egg cracker here. Because that can't see in here yet, but now it can. So, egg cracker here. Automation. Foods. I've lost it. I've literally just lost it. I am losing my mind. This is the point of tile. I told you, chat, it's been a couple of days, okay? All right, it's been a couple of days. But I'm giving it a, I'm giving it a go, all right? I'm giving it a good go. There we go. Now this gets in the fridger. This stays out of the refrigerator because it's picking up all the goodies. Now the question is, I don't want to hear it. Permit food for dupe survival. Now the dupes are fine. The dupes are fine. We have, we have zero calories. We don't even have any raw eggs. Like, there's a point of dupe survival, but like there's no even raw eggs right now because all the pip eggs have been chilling up there, stifling everybody. Who's starving? Haunted. You got 715 calories. Where are all the eggs? Okay, they're all around the place. Let me permit raw eggs. Oh, you might want to hurry, Haunted. Oh, there's some pickled meal right there. Haunted should be a fine. There you go, Haunted. Shipping. What if... What if I just made this taller?
Okay, I got another idea. I've got another idea. If I rotate this and stick it up here. Okay. All right, this is what chat was yelling at me about rotate the auto sweeper. Now I get it. Look, you're not my real dad. You're not even my stepdad. Okay? Because the refrigerator is not even going over there anyways. Brilliant. And then I can put one thing. Dear Vodlanders, this was all on purpose. Okay, this was, this was, this is presented by chaos. We're down to zero calories again. Can we please do some pips? Uh, where's the rest? Oh, all these eggs in here. It's fine. We have unreachable food. No one's starving yet. And why isn't the sleet wheat coming more fast? Oh no, what happened here? Because the water's warmer now? Uh, oh, we have no power. What happened to the power? We broke something. Oh, boy. Right there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Burger in with a stretch. Pumpkin in with a hundred bitties. Burger also with the five gifted subs. Oh, this episode has been presented by Chaos. Oh my goodness. Now we're actually going to be hurting on food. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Yep, get it. Get it, Senpai. Get it, get it, get it, get it, girl. All right, now we can stop eating those, please. Can we at least increase them to... Um, oh, we got souffle. Oh, yeah, we got 235 sleep wheat. Just... Take a look at this. I'm afraid if I look at this, you're going to you're going to say something. All right? You're going to do something bad or nasty or something and you're going to be mean if I look at it. So I don't want to look at it right now. So there. All right, so this one cannot see in. They're all in a row, so that's kind of makes sense. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I need to have it here. So that way it can see in the deep freezer. And then this can be responsible for taking eggs and grabbing the food and putting them over in here. Okay, this is horribly disgusting. How did we get here? Okay, or, wait a minute. This one is responsible for grabbing the food. And then I just have to put it here. I feel like it was better before. I feel like it was better before over here. Like, this is all nasty. Look. Do we have six people watching the stream now? <laughs> Thank you again to Burger for the five gifted subs and Pumpkin with the 100 bitties. I appreciate you both. Let's build the kitchen for the... F Look. Okay? Don't act like you don't do this in your colonies. All right? I told you I was a bit squirrely today. My bourbon meter is low. All right. Souffles are coming in. Um, now that can go... Oh, yep, right here, because this is getting deconstructed. It's okay. It's okay. 
Why wouldn't you have the egg cracker by them eggs? Because these eggs aren't being cracked. Those are barbecue eggs. But yes, I get it. Okay, that one's in. Why won't you deconstruct this for the fourth time? Furniture. It's just going to have to be what it is. All right. The centerpiece of the kitchen is the gas oven, so this kind of makes sense. Nope, that's not what we wanted. Whoop. Automation. Yes. Okay, it's, it's coming together. It's kind of coming together. We've got the grill side done. Now we just got to worry about this little side. Actually... I mean, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? No, because this one has to be able to get in there. All right, hold on. Plumbing. Or nope, shipping. Ugh. That can't be there. Chat, would you be mad if I moved the kitchen around again? I feel like you'd be mad or maybe disappointed because they bring up a good point. It would be nice because then I could drop all the eggs in here. Yes. This one. Get right like this. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing either, okay? But it's coming together. I keep telling myself that, and I'm going to believe it. Okay, so that is the problem right there. Because that one can see in. And deliver. So what I need... Aha, uh -huh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I know you don't believe me. Yes. There we go. This gets the... The lamp treatment. Shipping right here. Because this is the auto super that's picking everything up. As it can see both sides. Brilliant. Pip eggs. We're down to 3,700 calories again. Pip e Where's the pippy eggs? Pippy eggs. Thank you. And cuddle pip eggs. Thank you. What do you mean starvation? We have meal lice. Oh, we have no thing. Okay, okay, I'm working on it. What is meal lice and meat? How starving are we? What on from one to ten, how starving are you? Five hundred and seventy-eight. Okay. Looks like we're doing some regular eggs too. <laughs> oh, let's just activate the meal lice. We'll activate this and that. Yeah, just keep going. Just eat whatever you can. I'll get back to you in a minute. Hopefully, I'll uh, find it. Look, we got sleet wheat. Get the frost buns going. The souffle pancakes, yes. All right, so now these cannot see in. Oh, I, I got a better idea here too. We will raise it up so they look the samesies. And then one day we're going to get some nice kitchen lamps. Right now we don't have nice kitchen lamps, but that's okay. It's okay. We don't need nice kitchen lamps to be able to cook. There we go. Brilliant. Ah! All right, let's get some of this swept up. Nope, not those, just this. 
This is also going to need a weight plate. Okay, now we're grooving, right? Are we grooving? I feel like you're grooving with me. I feel like we're doing a thing of it. Uh, food. This is going to have a spice grinder for something. Who knows what? Furniture. Ceiling light. Oh, yeah. Now. This is what you've been waiting for. Okay, this is obviously what you've been waiting for. Nope, let's not do that. Now we need a little bit more power. Just going to go straight through. Don't want to know where those germs came from. Uh, this doesn't need to be here. Now, the disadvantage is the mess hall is way over here. So the duplicates, if we wanted to put the refrigerator here, we could. But it's they're going to have to go grab it and then come back. The Where it makes sense, though? No, because they're going to come home and they're going to go to the bathroom. Where's my bathrooms? All right, so this is actually not bad. They're going to come out of the bathrooms this way. Come all the way down here, grab food, and then go. I could put finished foods on a conveyor rail, which is probably what we're going to do. I think that's a good idea. Oh, no, this would look uh, better right there, because that's going up here. This is getting deconstructed. Yep, perfect. <sighs> Now, this gets everything finished product-wise. For now, we're just going to say... I don't know. I don't, wanna, I don't even want to do that yet. Because I don't, I don't want to hurt us. So I feel like we're going to... Now, shipping. This just goes straight down. That can be destroyed. This can be destroyed. Beautiful. The eggs. All finished products from here are going to go right in here. Please tell me I can fit an auto. Yes. This is good. And eventually we'll be grabbing eggs from inside of this container. Kind of good, maybe. Raw eggs come in. They jump over here. They jump around. They get up, they get up, they get down. There we go. Look at this. <laughs> Find the Dreco homeworld and ask for the asylum. Ugh. For now, though, all the pips are getting manually cracked, which we need to take mill lice, consumer, and this right off. And uh, it would be kind of nice, though, right? To drop a refrigerator here and here. I think this is the way. We could have a conveyor receptacle here and here. Actually, I only need one conveyor receptacle, right? Yes, that would actually make the food last longer. Well, here's the deal. So if I put a refrigerator here and here, I need this one to be able to see it, which it can right here. And then this one. And then I can put the conveyor receptacle right here. Yes! Now, how do we get things out once they're finished? This is, has all the finished products. So, but I'm saying when... Hmm, because there's going to come a time when there's food stored here, but it's not over here. So that's why this makes it complicated. You could take the overflows and everything that does not fit on this line and throw them into the deep freezer. 
But then how would you get out of the deep freezer to be able to load them up? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Don't like it at all. So it's going to go right here for now. Maybe we move everything over. Maybe we move the bathrooms over. And that way, once they finish getting to the bathrooms, they grab their food and they go to eat. I don't know. This is going to pick up everything edible. And this is going to grab everything we need from here. All the ingredients. This is going to say... Oops, come here. What, three kilos? Of barbecue, pickled meal, souffle, omelets, frost buns. Eh. Now we need wallpapers. This is my kryptonite. This is it. I don't know what to do with these. What do you do with these? I don't have enough shape things. Automation on the fridges to convey or shut off. Automation, maybe. Why is there a sweep thing in there? I don't need sweeps. Okay, stop making frost buns. Okay, we're done making frost buns. We need souffle pancakes, which they're coming. All right, this needs to say, uh, critter egg? No, miscellaneous? Just take Edible. A look at this. Raw egg. Hear that, Clay? He asked for more drywall, says Critus. All right, so that's gonna grab them. It's gonna put them into the deep freezer. This is gonna grab them from the deep freezer. They're gonna be cooked into souffles. All right, we're eating again, right? We're eating again. Do I love it? No. Do I hate it? Yeah. <laughs> we still have some sleet wheat. Oh, 18 sleet wheats too. That's all gonna have to get picked up and dropped off the manual way. But we're waiting for raw eggs. Which these are now all happy because we took all the eggs out. So they'll start to come. Or I could just do this for a little while. Grab some stone hatchley eggs. Yes. <laughs> Get some of them in there. Right there. Come on. Crack them up. And as soon as they crack them, we'll undo them. It'll give us some souffle pancakes, too. Just to keep us going for a little bit. I don't love it. Now I have the trepidation of doing drywall. I guess it's just going to be polka dots. I wish I just had black. Like a black and white kitchen would look fresh. So maybe that's what we're waiting on. We'll wait on the black wallpaper. So it's got this nice checkered background. And yes, I know. Pumpkin has the black one. I'll trade you. Boop, 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 boop. But I don't have a black one. I don't need... The only fresh ones I have are blue or full ones is blue, pink, regular drywall, and canary yellow. I guess we're going with yellow. We'll do yellow. I mean, this looks great. It's fine. It's not going to be too bright. It's not going to be an eyesore. It's going to look like a taxi cab, but it's the taxi kitchen. <laughs> oh, I like it. Uh, that one goes there. That must be there. Huh? A taxi to Flavor Town says Azrotic. First time chatter, welcome. I mean, oh, look at it. It's horrendous. Uh, do I have one everywhere? Is there one here? Yep, there. I knew there was one missing there. 
And there's one missing here. Yep, yep. Do it. And now we also need places for carbon dioxide to go because it's going to want to settle. So we'll hit some carbon dioxide spots in the corners here. Yeah, that should be good. The rest has doors. It's okay. It looks, at least it looks a little samesies. I still, I think, oh. Souffles, did I pick souffles? Pick souffles. Yep, souffles are on. All right, we're already up to 20,000 calories. 40,000 total. Um, the big ook for me is going to be this refrigerator. This is a lot of lost time. Because they're going to grab it from here and have to run all the way across here to go to the mess halls. So maybe we just move the mess halls. Or... Oh, maybe this is the new mess hall right here. You missed wallpaper behind the fridge, conveyor loader, and one of the auto sweepers. Where do you get your Hawkeyes? Okay, I see that one. Ah, uh, I see that one there. Not that conveyor loader. There it is. Some of you have just exceptional eyes. Look at that. Uh, can we just do these two? Like what? Grab the two. They're right here. There we go. No, not those two. Oh, they're so annoying. All right, let me get off of this. And then we'll just move these. Move two. Right here. Move two. Love that command, Clay. Keep it up. Get all that done. Clean up all that. That way we can get a nice pretty picture even though there's a lot of carbon dioxide under there. No big deal. No biggie. Yes. And our sleet wheat's actually doing well now. Um, the rest of that sleet wheat I decided was going to be used for berry sludge. So we're going to have to move some stuff over around in here because we're going to need to get a... Uh, one of those things, but that's a future renovation. What do we think, chat? Is that it? It's gonna have to be. Kaplawi. Oh, man. Chat, did you have fun today? I started realizing how squirrely my brain was about 30, 40 min minutes ago. And I can also tell something was ticking. Like, you know, when I'm ticked with a ticks, like tick, 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 tick. Um, something was ticking in me because I couldn't, like nothing looked good enough. I don't know what that's called. It's probably just general anxiety stuff, but that's what it was. That's what we're gonna blame it on. That's what we're doing. Oh, yeah, a little squirrely, probably a little anxious. I appreciate everybody coming out today. Now, I know a bunch of you are diving. Hopefully you stayed for the raid, but I know there's another stream starting in about one minute, but you got five minutes until it actually starts, okay? So just give me a second, let me find the raid, and then you can ditch from the raid to go there. Yeah. Ed, talking to you, Ed. 100% talking to you, Ed. <laughs> I had a good time, though. I had a really good time. It was much needed. Much needed for sure. Zwelf says, I'm actually going diving in a couple minutes. Good for you. Weezer says, I won't not be going to Pumpkin Stream. I know. I get it. Trust me. I'll be there sometime tonight as well. But the point being is, let me just at least do the raid. Oh, I know who we're going to show some love. This one's a little different. All right.
Yeah, this one's a little different. It's a little new, um, but this streamer is very fun. They do DJing. They do um, they do Grand Theft Auto. They're a role player Grand Theft Auto person. Pumpkin Raid? No, we just raided Pumpkin last week, and I can't do it too often. Right? It's not. It's a thing. So yeah, we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go pounce on our friend DJ Yams, who is a phenomenal person. DJ Yams. There it is. Boom. All right, the raid's up. Show this dude some love because that's what this dude does. He makes people happy. It's it's like they're literally their MO. Um, if you're ever bored at night and just want to listen to some music, they do Final Fantasy XIV um, DJing stuff. It's just a great stream to be a part of. So I hope, you, I hope you're here for it. I had a great time. I'm going to run these credits. I appreciate you. Thank you to the mods. So thank, say thanks to the mods and thank to each other because you're what helps um, make this stream pretty good. All right. Much love to all of you. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.